This is why I don't mind training for the apocalypse, even though I know it's probably not gonna happen. Might seem a little bit extreme training for something that isn't really gonna happen. But as Robert Baden-Powell, founder of the Scouts said, be prepared. And I find it's better to be prepared and not need to use the skills than not have the skills when the time comes to use them. Working out shouldn't just be about looking good. It should also be about longevity and having practical skills and strength that you can use. And maybe one day they might save your life or someone you care about. Bodybuilding's hijacking of the fitness industry has left it boring and vain. Bodybuilders are pretty useless from a physical and spatial standpoint. And most of them have more in common with the morbidly obese than they do with athletes. So does this mean that you can't do bench presses, and back squats and pull downs? Of course not. What it means is that you should include some kind of athletic power training, some speed, some agility, some movement, because one day you might need it. You might not be able to bench press yourself out of the situation. So here's something you can do. Skip the bicep curls at the end of your workout. Give yourself 10, 15 minutes and do something. You can call it whatever you want. I call it scenario training. It's something very simple. It's taking a few exercises, adding something that, where you have to carry something, lift something, you have to sprint away from something, you have to sprint towards something, pick it up, move it away. It's called scenario training. Just visualize something that needs to be done in an emergency. I guarantee this, it'll be demanding, but it'll also be really fun. And it beats standing there doing bicep curls for half an hour or looking on TikTok.